to Jurassic Park. Short, I'm afraid. Why the hell would you turn the other ones off? weekend going. That's where these people are coming from. Oh. So you guys play a lot of pinball out there? I know there's a couple spots and you have this uh, supermarket out there, I think in Maryland. Where the back storage is like a pinball speakeasy. Just, just, uh, just this pinball machine and another one. We usually play uh, out of arcades, but... Uh, California is pretty locked down. Unless the machines are outdoors. I'm on an island off the coast of Costa Rica. Really spectacular, spared no expense. And there's no doubt our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. You can imagine not a lot of people want to put their machines outdoors, you know. 
it cost them a little bit of money. So this is a Jurassic Park home machine which came out in 2019. Um, yeah, and you can accomplish that in a, a number of ways. So if you look at the map here, you're actually <laughs> yeah, yeah, and in this game, you're actually trying to rescue people at these different dinosaur paddocks. Um, and upon the way, you can capture dinosaurs like I just did. But if you look on the the left there, there's a person waiting to be rescued. So if I hit that shot, I get it. Right now, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just started a T-Rex multi-ball, so I'm battling a T-Rex for points. What do they got in there, King Kong? If I hit that red arrow first, it doubles the value of the next the next shot, so I'm trying to hit that red arrow right now. But if I hit a blue arrow first, then I'm locked in at that, that current jackpot value. Anybody want a soda or something? And at this point, I'm just going to hit the blue arrow. Oh, I got one red. Second red. Yeah. Uh, a year? Since January 2019? Uh, 2018, actually. Life, uh, where do you guys usually life. play out it out uh, where you are? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. cool things is um, you can slap the machine and that gets the flippers uh, moving inward a little bit and I can get this gap to be a little bit smaller if I can slap the left or the right uh, and that helps me keep the ball in play when, when I see the ball trying to go straight down the middle I can slap the flipper and then get it get it in so there's a there's a tilt bob on the machine, and uh, as long as you can keep your impulses relatively fast, uh, the sensor won't hit. But if I move the machine really slowly, then the tilt bob can swing and, and hit the sensor. So the idea is if I if I if I hit the machine and with a fast impulse, it'll not trigger the tilt sensor. But yeah. Um, that's 100% a part of the game. Because yeah, you need to influence the, the path of the ball and um, where it's going to go. So I'm going to try to transfer the ball to the left flipper. So I can get the shot up there where that red arrow is. There's a big... Uh, Scoring mode. Up there, where I'm trying to get the ball. So if you look up here, tight shot, and I'm trying to get the ball in that pocket right now. And I missed it. When you gotta go, you gotta go. 
try it again. Another thing you can do to mitigate the energy of the ball and keep it from bouncing around as much is to leave the flipper up and drop it as soon as the ball touches it. And that takes a lot of the bounce and energy out of the ball. So this is that mode I was talking about starting, it's called Chaos, and if I can get more balls, <laughs> if I can get more balls into that same pocket, I can add more balls into, into, uh, into play. If you look at the play field, there's these red arrows. If I shoot those, I'll score jackpots. So you generally don't know what to go for in a pinball machine. Shoot shoot the flashing stuff. Oh yeah, I drained uh I drained out. But you know, you get used to it. That's one of the multi balls in this game. There's another multi ball. If I if I keep sh shooting this uh, this raptor pit, let's see if I can bring this camera. Up. It is a it is a pit of raptors, kind of like uh, the raptor pit from the first Jurassic Park. And if I get the fence integrity down to zero percent by shooting it over and over, uh, I can start raptor raptor multi ball. Another fun scoring mode. So, you just saw that animation. I, I uh, scored an extra ball, so I, I, I did some criteria and, and rescued enough people. So uh, even though this was my last ball, ball three, I now have an extra ball and it'll show me a little animation. Hey, you can shoot again. So, if you're good enough, or you figure out what to do, you can get extra balls and continue playing. Super tight shot, and instead of having to do the the rafter fence stuff, I was able to use that smart missile to get this to get this mode started. So I've got one red arrow on that right ramp. I'm gonna try to shoot that. Try to shoot that right ramp. Just that. See that? It's on. All right. Control the ball. I can look at the screen. You ever? No. I. You can play tournaments for a pinball. Actually, you could play for money. I haven't. Don't get cheap on me, Darcy. We're gonna have to cut the toy short, I'm afraid. So this is another scoring mode. Check the vending machines. Where I have to fix the viruses. <laughs> for, for pinball scoring, it's whatever you can do at that moment with, with, with someone else. For, for head to head stuff. I don't know if you heard that that knock, that really loud knock noise. Um, that is a 
classic pinball sound. Um, when you pay for games and you score high enough, if you hear that knock, that means you've won and a free extra credit. So after this game's over, you get to play again without having to put more tokens in. Super satisfying noise to hear. Access security grid. Oops. Yeah, the uh, the game. This one's pretty pretty cool because there's a map to show your progress, and uh, you're trying to get from the main gate of Jurassic Park all the way over to the visitor center. Um, after you, at each paddock has different dinosaurs. All these dots represent different paddocks, and they have dinosaurs in them, uh, which have people that need to be rescued. And in order to do that, you shoot shots on the field. Um, what's interesting about this is that you can hit this truck to to make it move left or right to point different directions and that will choose your adventure on this map as you make your way towards the end towards this uh, visitor center yeah so what uh, what pinball games have you played <laughs> What's nice is that, you know, when the world restarts, there's a couple really competitive and also really friendly and social um, pinball leagues in DC. We'll take people from basically not having any pinball knowledge to being able to play and control the ball and keep the ball alive a long time. They're really fun. The targets by the truck set of trap. Yeah. Where are the uh, barcades around there? I remember I spent some time there, but I don't remember seeing seeing time prices anywhere. What is everybody? I mean, when everything's open, where does everybody play? I know there's been a uh, resurgence in the, the barcade you will in the last couple of years. You eat anything. A lot more, more places with vintage, classic gaming, and uh, and beer. I don't get to enjoy that much out here because everything's been closed since March. Pushing team moving. Oh my god. 
gotta go. I'm trying to hit that rescue. That's this orange one over here. But I need to get the ball up to the slipper first. Side shot, but failing. I see she's the most beautiful thing I just saw. There are six staff in the paddock. What kind of park is this? 51 on the day's list. Is this really tight shot again? Hold on to your so I can get it past that truck. When you hit the tilt sensor two, uh, three times, then the game shuts off and you, you tilt down. But if you aren't trying to save your ball, you aren't really playing pinball. So there I had hit the tilt sensor twice and that last move there was me hitting the, the tilt sensor the third time. But yeah, you still keep your score, you just lose your bonus, which is points accumulated and are only awarded um, after your ball drains. So yeah, you do lose the ball in play, but um, you know, if you're not trying, then you know, aren't playing. Can't believe, uh, can't believe Phil told everybody. A lack of humility before nature that's being displayed here on Staggers. So here's a genetic power is the most awesome force the planet's ever seen. But you weirdly have like a kid that's trying to dance a family. Oh, nice. How's the stream quality look, by the way? Yeah, well, what species is this? The overlay was readily available. It's kind of a this is kind of a cookie cutter layout. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if that that bl that blue camera on the top right is is interesting enough. So I had it at the truck before. Kind of like it. It's a different view of the flippers. It's a little laggy though. It's a, uh, it's actually an iPhone 5. Uh, yeah, it's an iPhone 5. Yeah, I guess, let me try to show some ball control stuff. So I'll try to drop the flipper as soon as the ball touches it. If it's, if it's on a... Kind of perpendicular path. Other things I can do is get energy out of there. If I know it's coming toward toward the flipper, I can just hold it up and transfer. But right here, I can drop that flipper, take some energy out, or flip it really quick to switch it to the the left flipper. If I get the timing right. Again, switch it from the left flipper to the right if I do a, a flip. Same thing. And this is backhanding the raptor pit by flipping it fairly early. Backhand shots are over here and forehand shots are there.
Sorry about that. So is everybody work upping their uh, work from home mobile teleconferencing game, or, or is it just still? You could move a make another desk in the kitchen <laughs> or not, another room. The, oh my god. It's funny, you know, I hated hated going to the office when I had to, but now that I can't go to the office, I hate staying home. at AC man <laughs> at least here it does it's hot out of here cafeteria food as much as I complained missed that too I'm gonna go and restart this game nothing to see here oh, there we go. he's uh yeah he's my favorite brother they want Alan Graham. Graham? <laughs> You'll never get him out of here. Skill shot! Super skill shot! Anybody to see what he's about to do. Now, look at this next entry. It's the kicker. White rabbit object. Whatever it did, it did it all. This blinking green arrow represents the dinosaur, and it starts heading towards those orange rescue the people. If I don't get to those people in time, the dinosaur smashes them. And there's bonuses for rescuing all the people before the dinosaur gets to them. What do they got in there, King Kong? to keep trying. <laughs> I mean, this definitely did not come right off the bat. Damn it. Right when I started the stream. Yeah. See that? It's off. Life. Uh, oh my gosh. 
finds a way. Another thing you might notice I'm doing is not flipping when the ball's heading towards the flipper. And the ball will hit the flipper and then bounce to the other one without me doing anything. And that takes a lot of energy out and slows the ball down. Steel shot. So easier. Sometimes it's easier to do nothing so I can get more control of the ball. Here I'm going to try to flip the flipper and get the flipper to the top as soon as the ball gets to the same spot to take out a lot of the energy. Short, I'm afraid. And it might stop only if I get the timing right. <laughs> yeah. At least not a stall, a shack in the middle of nowhere, definitely. I'm gonna try to shoot this over here. Right over here. No. I'm gonna try to stop the ball again. No. Access security grid. Thought you were one of your big brothers. You're not so bad. Seven staff remain in the paddock. John, they're out. There were people in time. So the different dinosaurs. <laughs> I did. And the women are extinct. That move you just saw is illegal in tournament play, but it's kind of satisfying to to do it. Get off the stick. Let him move. Somewhat difficult as well. Yeah, it did. It did. It did. Really. So you two, um, big up, big up dinosaurs? It did say, nah, uh, yeah. Nedry. Nice hat. Ball three. This is ball three. So this dinosaur can actually immobilize <laughs> staff by spitting at them, even if, even though it's a space away. Ooh. But if I, if I'm able to capture it, there's some, there's some good bonuses. The delightful menu follows chili and sea bass, I believe. I have this big red light flashing up here, but it's a really tight shot. If I can get it over there, I can start a pretty cool multi ball from Chaos. But uh, I had another multi ball ready where that flashing light was on the left, so I get to play with Raptors now. Raptor 
And I have a, a ramp on the right for the red flashy light I need to shoot now to get to the next mode in this Raptor multi ball. Double scoring! I'm gonna hold two balls over on the right flipper so it makes this shot easier. Since I've done that, I go to the next stage where I got to shoot Chaos at the spell C H A O S at the different areas of the, of the machine. H being in that ramp. Yeah, I do. I do. Let me uh, get control real quick. Oh no. Yeah, so let's see. There's a C here. Hmm. We can't see it. Now we can see it. There's a C here for this shot an H here for that ramp, an A for this ramp, an O for this orbit, and then S for this helipad. And when you shoot all of those letters, you qualify or uh, enable a mode called Chaos Multiball, which is started by hitting the stand-up target all the way back there. I'm just gonna try to hit it. to see the dinosaurs dropping. Maybe you can bounce right now. No. No. Double scoring! Two more shows and one six triceratops. There are six Oh my gosh, it, it didn't hit the target, but it went up there. There you go. Opening's a little wider now. There we go. I get more balls in that same hole I was trying to shoot earlier, uh, I can add balls. So if I add a ball now, it's going to be four ball multi-ball, and it'll uh, reset the ball saver. Should see a blue light over here. Uh, if I get the ball to roll over this area, it'll start a smart missile. Smart missile timer counting. So I get to pick something. If I can hit that that shot up there. <laughs> Got the ball in there, but I did not hit the pop. I did not hit the target. Raise the truck again. Amber targets. You feel like you're more effective working from home now, or better at the office? I could do I could just do one more project. And the computer's right there. <laughs> it's 
hard. It's hard to disconnect. That is one big pile of shit. Definitely, if you uh, if you start going back out again, <laughs> try to find a try to find a spot that has pinball. It's super satisfying, but I'm also super biased. And you have butterfingers? <laughs> I can't That's get Jurassic ball. Park back on line without Dennis Fudge. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're still making pinball machines. Like, this one came out in 2019, and then they just came out with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 2020. The uh, the arcade that does outdoor stuff that I go to occasionally does wipe the machines down, uh, but yeah, they are they are retro. That's the whole deal. They've got you know old Tetris cabinets and old Street Fighter cabinets as well as uh, you know stuff like Gradius and and Pac Man, and then these pinball machines from the seventies all the way to two thousand twenty. <laughs> Yeah. I, from what I've seen, there's a lot of uh, barcade, arcade, arcade beer type venues popping up. And I actually think they started on the on the west coast, on the east coast. Anybody want to uh, shoot the city trap cards? Definitely, definitely a lot different from you know just staying at home. Downloading a game on off Steam and Dino DNA. it's really it's really hard to duplicate this. Species is this. Yeah, especially especially the uh, the physical movements and you might see this machine you know in California and then you might come back and see it in, in Virginia or Maryland, but it's going to play totally different because the coils will wear out differently. The rubbers are gonna have different, uh, you know, different bounce from the different exposure. The play field is gonna have different wear. Everything is gonna be so different. Probably gonna. So there, um, I was hitting the machine a bunch, and the pendulum that had the field bob was swinging enough to, to hit, and I didn't notice. And it ended the game. I think it's gonna be this is gonna be the last two balls. I gotta grab some lunch. James, 
Step away! Finally, one of that shot the whole time. <laughs> And uh, saved it straight right all the time for like two seconds. That was the last two balls, so have a good dinner. And thanks for stopping by until I feel like I said hi.